In this video, we're going to be having a look at the Hornbill Service Portal. This is the place where users and customers can come to submit issues and service requests into the service desk. We'll start by going to the login option. This is where users can provide a username and password in order to access the service portal. But this can also be configured to work with your own identity provider to allow for pass-through authentication. Once a user is logged in, they come to their landing page which shows their different services that they've been subscribed to. This can be filtered down by a number of areas. We can see our favorite services, our active services where we currently have active requests against those services, impacted services where the service desk may have put out a notice of a particular or potential issue, or the user can simply view all the services in a single page. For each of these services, we can use the More option to be able to get a bit more detail about this particular service. We have an option to be able to add and remove this from our favorites. Directly from here, we can now submit a request for an issue or make a service request about this particular service. Or we can click on this option in order to be able to view any of our existing requests. So this has taken us directly into that service information and we can click on the active incident that's in that list, view any information details such as here we see a video that's possibly providing some resolution information for our issue. Now an important part of a service desk is to be able to uh, configure or customize the service desk such as the titles, the text, and information here to fit your corporate environment. So an example here that I'm going to provide is showing some color changes for the icon within this view. We're just going to switch over to our administration uh, portal. And here I'm going to select the application, Hornbill Service Manager. And we go into the settings and application. Up in the filter, I can uh, now filter down to some of the color options for the portal. We're going to type in guest.col, and this will fil filter this list down. We now see here uh, the color option for the icons. And we can see that this is the current color setting that we have. And if we go over to the right hand side, we can now change this color. I am very simply going to type in uh, the hex code for gray. And we'll save that. If we switch back over to the portal and give a quick refresh, we can see how we've now changed that color. So when you take this kind of configuration with many other options provided, you can see that this allows you to create a service portal that suits your needs.